another scuba product review and I know I've said in previous episodes that I don't actually want to do too many product reviews but sometimes people just invite you for a good time that is too good to pass up and that's what Lafitte did with their P1 they asked me if they could send me a P1 C scooter for review and I just couldn't resist the temptation I even turned it into a jetpack So the P1 is their newest uh, sea scooter and uh, I have a, a pre-production model right here. They are still actually kickstarting this. I'll put a link uh, below, but the specs are pretty much set in stone. So this is, um, it's small, right? So I think you can already see this is of course not meant for uh, heavy duty cave diving, technical diving, etc. This is a little bit more for the recreational diver who wants to have a good time, but I want to have a good time and I think you want to have a good time. So I accepted and reviewed it and good times were had, absolutely. Um, this weighs 2.3 kilograms, so I think that's that's like five pounds ish. So it's not super heavy, and uh, it's made of aluminum. The uh, maximum dive time with this is about 60 minutes. I was able to take it on two 45-minute dives. So um, the idea is that that maybe you don't constantly have it on, but that you use it sparingly or to get a little bit from point A to B. And I was able to comfortably get two dives out of the P1. If you look closely, you may notice that I have the standard paddleboard mount mounted to the P1. This is so that I can attach cameras and capture my experience from various angles. Obviously, the optimal way to use the P1 with maximum performance is without this mount. In terms of depth rating, 60 meters, so that's about 200 feet. Again my interpretation of this product is that it's recreational so that depth rating is plenty but there's something really cool about this and that is that it's also super modular this is its most assembled form but you can actually deconstruct it quite a bit so first of all up here that's a gopro mount yeah or action camera mount which whatever you want to put on there and so uh, that comes off very very easily it's secure when it's on and you do have ridges here so you can set it where you want and once that's in place, that's in place, but super easy to put on and off. Then here we have the paddleboard mount. So again, there are some clips here that make it super easy to disassemble. You uh, probably want to use it like this. That's the, the, the most lightweight version that you can, but there is more. You can actually disassemble right here the uh, handlebars and so even the handlebars are completely uh, modular and this i'm going somewhere with this because that is actually a feature that is super key to using the lafitte in what is in my opinion the best way to use it uh, and then the battery component is right here so this also screws off uh, and what's nice about this is that the way it's assembled is it's actually almost impossible to flood 
obviously of your uh, o-ring right here and then this is actually the battery this is the motor and the, um, the the display this is the battery and what's nice is it comes with this cap it goes on and now you have a simple uh, USB-C outlet so uh, inlet and outlet that's also worth noting is you can charge it through here but you can also use this as a power bank so if you are like me and you travel a lot then that's kind of useful to um, to have if it's charged at least to have that backup power now it's also worth mentioning that this is uh, airline approved so you can very easily just stuff this in a carry-on and then uh, travel with it yeah so uh, this is then the motor this is the battery you could hypothetically also have multiple batteries so if you're if you're using this for a project where you don't always have access to charging it uh, again even though it does last about an hour then you can uh, you can carry multiple batteries very easy to assemble you just got to make sure this lines up well and then uh, screw it together now the really cool thing in my opinion about this is that if you don't assemble the handlebars and you simply use this mount right here then you have the superior way to use the P1 because you now have a remote control and a jetpack. I do need to reiterate that this mount is the standard paddleboard mount. There is a tank mount in the works and if you want to make that happen, make sure to support them on Kickstarter so we can make this P1 jetpack version a reality. Now there are four settings here, so if we power it up, it goes right here, you turn the button, it makes a sound, and then you power up the uh, remote by holding this down and then you should get a green light. Um, you can then select with the same button the four different speed ratings. Yeah. So to give you an idea of what that sounds like, if it is in, uh, in speed number one, it sounds something like this. And then in speed number two, it sounds like this. Speed setting number three. And speed setting number four. And that's actually quite fast, yeah? Again, for the size that the P1 has and for the 60 minute battery life that you can squeeze out of it, four is really, really fast. You have to hold on to it or if it's uh, used as a jetpack, you better, uh, you better watch out. Um, the, the only little consideration is you need to hold the, um, the remote a little bit close to it when it's mounted as a jetpack. But please also, when you use this, be careful. Ups and downs, all the rules of scuba still apply. When you go down, you need to equalize. When you go up, you need to go up slowly. So uh, when I say jetpack, I mean horizontal. I don't mean a vertical jetpack. But that's the Lafitte P1. It's live uh, on Kickstarter now. Unless you watch this in the future, then, uh, then, then you can just get it. But uh, if you're looking for something to, to have fun with while scuba diving, maybe to get you a little bit quicker from A to Z, hey, maybe you're a diver uh, who has uh, a condition and has generally a little bit of trouble with propulsion, I think this is a good uh, additional propulsion, yeah? Um, so yeah, I would, I would pick one up. I, I, again, I'm not trying to be like a review channel or an advertising channel and I did get this unit for free, but now that I know what it's capable of and how much fun there is to be had, I feel like I would 100% buy one. I'm actually considering of buying a few and I don't know, maybe I can go jetpacking with my friends. 
Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.